Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where we're in Edinburgh, Scotland for the start of the 2023 Gumball 3000. We are here with our support vehicle because I've been keeping a little secret from you guys and it is finally time to reveal something really quite exciting. Come back here with me. No, nothing to do with us, but check that out. A Lamborghini Countach, there's a Hurricane Spider, Gumball cars starting to arrive here in the Scottish capital. But in fact, the thing I've been keeping under wraps besides this is in the transporter of my friend Tony, Turbo Transport. He's up in the Cairngorms with something we need to go and reveal. We're going to hop into the van. I think the Countach might even be coming with us for the drive today to go up into the mountains, some beautiful roads, some stunning scenery to reveal a little bit of what we've got in store for what is going to be my ninth time on the Gumball 3000 Supercar Rally. That was the hurricane starting up behind me. This route, Edinburgh to Montenegro, everything about it is going to be phenomenal. The biggest and the best we've ever done this. Team 150, let's get cracking on so I can show you what we've got in store. Lambo Land here. These guys have just arrived over from Germany with the Hurricane Spider ready for the rally. Yeah. <laughs> so cool, so cool, our collector. But look at this, look at the Lamborghini Countach. This actually came to greet us on arrival last night. This car was at Silverstone for the 60th anniversary parade recently. It is spectacular. One of 112 of the new Countach after the co-name of the original car, the LP112. But we of course have our Ford Transit Custom MSRT in bright telemagenta, stick it up, liveried up as our support vehicle for the rally and ready to take us now up to the Cairngorms. I've been a few times before, but today is gonna to be more special than any previous trip look at that this is cool this is very cool let's get on the move well a small change of plans i'm going to ride shotgun in the lamborghini Countach up to the Cairngorms. let's hear this starting up oh yes v12 fires into action so door handle just underneath here i recently drove one of these in italy which was absolutely superb but here we are right door down what a place to be my goodness here we are in the Lamborghini Countach well here we go Edinburgh by Lamborghini few off series hypercar the Countach as we head out where the start grid is going to be for Gumball in just a matter of days seeing the very bright pink liveried van on the road as well for the first time which is quite fun because that has been obviously fully stick it up for the occasion as well. We're out of town and in fact, we are now at the Queen's Ferry Crossing. I've never been across here before. The new bridge, the older bridge is alongside uh, that runs out across the Forth and over up towards our next destination following a vehicle you cannot miss in the slightest. <laughs> as we go out this way, just casually in the Lamborghini Countach, as you do. Well, look at this. Views on views, as my friend the Stradman would say. Check this out. As we head through the rolling hills up towards the Cairngorm, it's not too far to go now. All enjoying the ferocity <laughs> of the Lamborghini Countach. This is a good day. Talk about views. The further into the Cairngorms we get. <laughs> <laughs> the better it gets, as does the sound of this. But the trailer is up this away with Mr. Turbo waiting for us. One fun thing, just up here there is a parking lay-by, and a long time ago, with that view back behind, I pulled up here with my Focus RS. Took some photos of the car with the stunning backdrop right there. I remember that well, like six or seven years ago in the blue one. We have arrived at the Glenshi Ski Center I've been up here a few times before as well, including the first time I drove a new Ford GT because there is Mr. Turbo Transport with the trailer with something to show you guys in just a moment. Let's go get that opened up. We're about to unload then and reveal all, but quickly before we do, we have a new pair of Future Wear Shmi 150 sunglasses. Check these out, forged carbon, with the Shmi 150 logo to match the blue lenses that they have as well. First time we've done the Forged Carbon Style, limited edition. Grab those right now, which is really cool. Perfect for today, because the sun is out here. 
and it's gonna be time to open you, open you, open this, and show you guys what's inside. Welcome to Scotland, Tony. Thank you. Good to see you up here. So, shall we reveal this? Of course. Shall we show what's inside? Because mm -hmm. at this point, just before you go, nobody knows what's inside here. We've not spoken about it. Three, two, one. For Gumball 2023, the Zenvo is here for the start line. My Zenvo TSRS, fully stickered up, team 150, ready to be unloaded for a little bit of a drive. Check this out. Fully stick it up, fully ready. No Zenvo has ever been on the Gumball 3000 before. This will be the car for the start. There's more to explain, because I've still not told you guys the full story. I've still not told you everything, but let's get this out. Let's get ready for a bit of a drive. Round to the side. Oh, this is good, this is good. Team 150, fully prepared, branded up for the purpose. We're gonna get this unloaded, get some photos of it out here. What a journey. The car is here. It is time then to get this started. Let's fire it up. Oh, the Zenbo is in Scotland. The TSRS is ready to be pulled out. It's time to pull it on out then. Brad has the honors because I want to see this under the sunshine of the Cairngorms. Paint is looking phenomenal. Obviously lift system up at the moment. Pop it out, look at that fully liveried up. We have been keeping this a secret and a half, that it's been at the factory for some upgrades. In fact, some new engine components, which is super cool. It doesn't mean I need to slightly run it in and take it easily for the first bits of the drive. But look at this, with the livery, with the racing stripes, with all the sponsors, all the prep work, knowing how much has gone in to getting this ready. Here we are. <laughs> it's gumball in a Zenvo. <laughs> We're going for a little drive, but my first mistake probably is to have unloaded literally in the gravel car park. But we will head this way. This looks like a good place to get back on the road. We've got the lift system up at the moment. So out we go onto tarmac to go past the Glenshee Ski Centre. I've been here with the Focus. I've driven that Ford GT here from Ford the first time I ever drove one. And now we're here with my Zanvo here with these views, these mountains. This car has been obviously in Denmark. We took it to Croatia for Supercar Owners Circle and it's now here for Gumball 3000. And believe me, this has been logistics like you wouldn't believe in terms of organizing, insurance, everything to make sure it was ready. The car has been at the factory for a couple of months. They've given it a few new components and it's actually really cool. They upgrade the cars. If they come up with a better idea, they've been adding and doing upgrades to make sure that it's the latest spec. Oh, nice. Cool, also out for a drive. Porsche's up in the mountains, why not? <laughs> this is ridiculous. To be driving my car here with these views is absolutely ridiculous. Of course, at this moment in time, Nobody other than the people who drive past us know that this car is stickered and liveried for the Gumball 3000, which is kind of funny. Obviously, you guys are going to see this when I upload the video, and at the same time, we're going to also bring the car into the city center, or at least that's the plan right now. Just taking it easy, because we need to bed it in a little bit. New engine components. They have obviously bench run it on the dyno. It has had some running to make sure that it's obviously get ready and good to go with the intention of it being here for the rally but right now look at this place look at this place it's absolutely unreal I'm just taking it very easy warm things up look at it <laughs> Porsches are plenty around here Oh, nice. Okay, there's clearly something going on. Flugplatz Blue, V12 Vantage Roadster. Very nice. We are in the right place to enjoy a drive. This is breathtaking. We're obviously gonna be taking some photos, making the most of it, fully enjoying where we are right now to the absolute max. But I tell you what, when you jump in here, my goodness, do you need to concentrate? We go past the stream. <laughs> <laughs> what is this world? This is so cool. We've just gone past Braemar Castle where I've been up to before as well. But look at this road. Look at this place. It's unreal. 
So I've been driving at the moment in IQ power, which is the lower 800 horsepower power setting as opposed to the full 1177 or the 1360 if you're on the E85. The gearbox, I'm gonna pop into race mode now, which just makes everything really, really sharp and aggressive. In fact, drop it down to second. Accelerate a bit. Oh my gosh, those kicks. A car like this is just so fast that arguably these kind of roads are just not suited to using anything near what it's capable of. But this is such a cool place to be right now with this. This is so cool. This is unreal. I, I've said that a few times, I'm sorry. Broken record. But I think I speak for this whole experience right now. We've come up here in the Kuntash, thanks to the owner of that car who amazingly is happy to drive it out and come and do these kind of things doing some photos of that as well and we're currently scouting locations to shoot my zenvo up here in scotland what a spot to stop to take some photos look at this on the bridge with those views in that direction the car right here very few cars out on the road to be completely honest and the Zenvo, the Zenvo back in action on another legendary adventure. The colours here, Lila Perlamore, Lime Gron, with the red and blue of the Gumball Roundel, with obviously the white of the sponsors, with the Movember moustache at the front, with the stripes over the top, with the number on the side. They actually very kindly made me a slightly smaller number to go on the doors because of the fact that you have this exposed carbon down here with the Zenvo lettering, as you can just about see, the numbers wouldn't have worked here. It would have been all sorts of chaos. Um, yeah, obviously the sponsors of the rally, stripes continuing over the back. It's all pretty spectacular, to be honest. Liveried up for this magnificent event. This is gonna look so cool on the grid on George Street. Literally, I think tomorrow at this point, it's that soon. And what a place to be driving it. We are arriving back then, past the ski centre, and we will go back over to the transporter, except I'm gonna go and do this from somewhere really near it. Minimise the distance across the uh, off-road. Obviously in winter time, you can ski here, one of the few places in the UK that you can come and actually go skiing. And as somebody who used to spend a lot of time skiing, um, one day I'd love to actually come here and give it a go. But for the moment, we're here with a car, lift up because of this. I don't want to go over any particularly big rocks. And the Kuntash is still lurking behind. And we'll do a few photos and get ready to load it up and get ready to head in the Kuntash back, obviously, to Edinburgh, to where all the action is, because I can guarantee you there will be some Gumball cars there now. And it will be the start of a bit of grid forming. And that'll be quite exciting to see, obviously ahead of everything getting fully, fully underway. We're about to go and pop the Zenvo away in the trailer. There are some sheep, and I think a lamb, walking around. Hopefully they stay off the road. Uh, we'll get the Zenvo started, go take it round, pop it into the trailer for the time being, because of course we want to keep this under wraps for a little bit longer. When you're ready, Brad. There we go, ready, fired up. So, uh, yes, let's come round, get this in there for now, then we're gonna head back, Kuntash and the van, and kind of work out what's happening as we go, basically. The plan for the rest of the day until we get spotting some more Gumball cars back in the city. Look at that thing. In fact, look at that pair. The purple and the pink together is actually really, really cool. If I can say so myself, this color in the sunshine, especially this kind of late afternoon glow, is spectacular. The deep, deep purple. We added all of that black ink into the base layers of the paint when I was choosing the spec of it, obviously with Zenvo. Look at the carbon from here as well. The Zenvo text. I'll see over the front also. I should probably come around and help with the mirror. Let me grab that our manual mirrors on here, close that up, and then uh, ready to go on in. In it goes, hidden away in just a moment. Rolling on in and stop. Perfect, nice. Time to close it all away. What could possibly be inside, hey? You'd never know. As we... I need two hands for that. Can't do that while I'm holding a camera. Gravity is also against me here. I wasn't very smart here. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Uh, maybe magic trick? 
There we go. There we go. Perfect. Found a solution. Where there's a will, there is a way. Have you ever done that one-handed? No. That's skills. That is skills. <laughs> We've left one thing. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> It's okay, it'll be done soon. Hire a professional, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we are all loaded up, ready for the onward journey. So, prepping for some more photos. Kuntash is becoming a camera car for a minute to take some photos of this and also of Tony with the trailer, because how often is he going to be here? It's kind of cool as well. Um, and we've got about two hours back to Edinburgh to park that up safely with no one knowing what's inside. Well, how cool is this as we go through the tips? <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, gotta watch out over there. The Kuntash looks amazing over these roads. Absolutely amazing. But in here, um, very much a case of holding on tight. <laughs> as rear view mirror views go, that's pretty cool. There appears to be a red Lamborghini Kuntash in the camera screen view mirror thingy that we have in here because of course it is a panel van which we cannot see through twisty roads the Kuntash behind that's cool this is unusual we're at the queen's ferry crossing again and the Kuntash is currently over my shoulder being the camera car to get some photos of the van literally shooting from the world's fastest and most expensive camera machine, the Lamborghini Kuntash, as we go past the other bridges. <laughs> as you do, but we've got to get those shots, right? We've got to have some cool photos of this, make the most of the opportunity. There's a random SVJ. We're back in Edinburgh and Gumbel vibes. Now we're chasing down the SVJ. SVJ in front, Kuntash behind, I think, somewhere. Yep, still there, Kuntash behind. They're closing some roads, probably in preparation for the grid, so we've got to work out how to get around the block. But where there's a will, there is a way, and we just follow the sound of Lambo V12. Also, that's a suitable plate for an SVJ, it has to be said. We're going this way, though. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> Looks like road closed. Mm, problem, 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 problem. Problem. Problem, we need to go there. Difficult. Kuntash is parked somewhere. Van is here. This is a gumball car for sure, this Portofino with the crocodile style wrap print. I'm um, not sure about 911 and the DB11, but that certainly is. They're off around the corner for a moment. And then we're gonna go to the garage, go see what we can find. Funny story, here we have the Canadian Team Skookum 812 Superfast that's been living at the Schmuseum and I have the key for it. We're gonna drive this down to the main gumball parking to go and get it prepped with all of the others which means a cold start of a Ferrari V12. Let me hop in and let's get this started because this is always a lovely, lovely thing. Team 42, this car now here for its fifth Gumball Rally, which is crazy. The very same car every time. You step in here, foot on the brake, press the big red button. Oh yeah. We are arriving and it looks like there are Indeed, some gumball cars over there. So let us go through here and we'll head straight round. And I can't believe I've never driven this car while it's been with me because the exhaust is amazing. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We've got Aroma, Hurricane. Oh, oh, yes, there's a Bugatti over there. Yes, we have a Bugatti, STO, SVJ, two SVJs. This sounds ridiculous. The noise of this car is mega. I'm very pleased to have driven it, even this tiny distance, thanks to Jordan. But it is now going to be parked up with all of the cars, so we will probably move a barrier here and tuck it in, I think. This is where we are supposed to be. Looks like there's a 992 GT3 arriving over there. Interesting, unusual colour. Check that out. Nice. And then, if I spin the camera around this way, Let's have a little look at this lineup. This is an army of Lambos, all matching. SVJ, Urus, the STO, and of course, our first hypercar, we could say, of the rally, the Bugatti Chiron Sport. 
all from Germany. And then we've got our collector with the Hurricane Spider, we've got another Urus, and we've got a Ferrari Aroma over this side as well. I suspect there'll be a fair few cars arriving over the coming days, as I'm gonna squeeze past and maybe help with, a, uh, with opening up a barrier. Are they heading off? Maybe they're heading off, having a nosy. Nice. This pretty much brings us to the end of today. Now, we've obviously revealed that the Zembo is involved. We have revealed that the GT Black Series is involved and we have revealed that the Transit MSRT is involved, but there's actually more to it than meets the eye. I haven't told you guys the full story. I haven't fully explained what Gumball 3000 is going to be for Team 150, just that the Zembo is here. The Zembo is here in Scotland alongside some of the other cars that have now arrived. It's gonna get really interesting. It's gonna get really very interesting because, don't get me wrong, taking the Zembo on Gumball is unbelievably cool, but I told you this is a first and just driving a car is, it's done. It's not the most complicated thing in the world. This is much more complicated. Much, 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 much more complicated. And I've probably given you a few too many clues already and I should stop there. But those of you who have watched this far through the video now know a little bit more. Don't forget that we have 100 pairs of our new limited edition Futurewear Shmi 150 sunglasses. These are available right now. Blue lenses, blue logo, forged carbon, super light, really nice. You see me wearing them in pretty much every single video that goes out on the channel. And yeah, stay tuned because tomorrow I've got some big news for you. Some very, very big news that I'm really quite excited about. It's going to be unbelievable. That's it for now. Gumball 3000, Edinburgh to Porto Montenegro coming very soon. We're here in Scotland. We are ready. This is going to be big. Thanks, guys. Thanks for all of your support. And I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.